Hey guys, Danger Dane here with another episode of my Blind Let's Play through of The Valley, Episode 3. When we last left off, we found this elevator that was taking us up to the military base where we thought we would find the life seed. Or we think we would find the life seed. Should I say? Oh, and we have some issues apparently with the elevator. And we are falling. It's cool, it caught itself halfway through, but I guess we're going to make our way up on foot through the rest of it. As you can tell, I have already gotten the game over by the case being open. There's a jump that I almost did not make. Got a merit swarm we need to take care of. Ah! Alright, and continue our journey. It's a nice little platformer. The visuals are great. Trying to die. So, momentum is a thing in the game. You uh, cannot jump as far as you do not have it, don't have a running start. That's a nice feature. Good physics. Gotta take care of that America Swarm. The sun's very blind blinding right there, but let's take a moment and enjoy the Rockies. Look at that. Never seen the Rockies. Never seen them like IRL. But I hear they're beautiful and look at this. Just beautiful. It's a weird flag too with a mouth on it? I'm not sure what that is. And let's get going. This is a fun jump. Yeah. You tell it'd be a fun jump by the amount of momentum you had to get to like reach it. And here we are at the let's see, at the uh, Coma Utility Shack. We got a Another American Swarm. They are definitely becoming more pre prevalent as we get on the way. There seems to be three shots and you're good on those. And we're doing good on energy. It's not low or anything. Nothing here. So let's head up to the Coma Utility Shack. A foreboding name if I do say so myself. Oh, and we got like, we have a cracked thing here, so I guess we need to jump down from there and hit that. So, let's make our way there. But first we need to check out what's in here. Blue phone. Oh, that lights up when you come near it. That's cool. Let's see, we got a medallion and a note from a worker. Working on the pipe working the pipes on this place is a real pain. It's as though they went out of their way to build the facility in the worst place imaginable. Just to make it tough on lowly pipe fitters like me. I don't think that's why. Repairing a pressure system leak takes me half a day just to get to it. They ain't paying me enough if you ask me. You know, I've never heard anyone say that they're getting paid enough. I've never heard anyone be like, you know what, I'm fine with the amount of money I'm making. But maybe it's just me. Alright, we got full energy. And we're gonna power fist through this. Yeah, take that utility shack, coma. Comma? Coma? Alright, we got this crate here. An acorn and another energy upgrade, putting us at three energy upgrades, which is great. 
We're well on our way to the two of Let's see. Sixth. Reminder to all personality. Please keep a safe dis distance away from Amirta swarms. They often become territorially aggressive when in need of Amirta. If a swarm is blocking access for you, please request for a Pathfinder to pacify the swarm. I guess we're a Pathfinder, technically, now. Memo. Stay on the lookout for any intruders on the premises. Well, that's a little late for that. A number of guards have reported seeing shadowy figures watching our operations from afar. It could be a sign of possible espionage. Or something worse. Report trespasser sightings at once. That's some foreshadowing right now. Right there. Shadowy figures. That's a tough thing. Running through pipes. Pipe runner! These lights still have power. Alright, and... I don't know if I was supposed to slide down that. We got a... That's definitely like a suit upgrade. Give me my acorns. Note from a Pathfinder. Dying while wearing a leaf suit is an incredible experience. No one outside myself can possibly observe it. The best way I can describe it is a date as, as a daydream. One sometimes gets lost in. I die by falling into a lake. The next second, second I'm standing by the shore. No one else being the wiser about what just happened to me. Is it even real? Well, we all know about that. We got a new suit upgrade. Ooh, it's a grappling hook. Swing yourself up to new places with the Viper Coil upgrade, allowing Pathfinders to latch onto dead eye crane blocks. Each use costs one unit of energy. Press and hold RT while targeting a dead eye. Is that a dead eye? Be cool when it's not. More acorns. I have 21 acorns. 23 acorns. Wasted energy. And jump. Yeah. Sweet. This game's becoming even better as it goes on. As game should. First one. Five acorns. We got plenty. Go ahead and open that up. What does this say? Crane block over here. Viper strike. Yes. Another Pathfinder. We've got, got a large portion of this valley mapped out so far. As far as I know, we've explored most of the acorn doors. I hear there are a couple of squads with almost enough medallions to access that big step pyramid. That's cool. Can I use this to like... Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's give that some life. And that. Bringing the valley back to life. I'd like to know why all those were dead. More force Pac-Man ghosts. How many acorns for this? Twelve? Let's do it. Bring me something cool in here. Anything cool in here? Glowing fungus. Oh, is this another suit upgrade? There's no way. Oh, it's oh, it's a straight up like suit status upgrade. Yeah, we now have six energy upgrades. Awesome. Like Tarzan. Oh, and we got a fucking. Wow, that. This one was a hard one because I wasn't able to, like, get a good view of my surroundings quick enough. Alright. Well. 
It seems like the only logical course of action is to risk life and limb and jump. All I know is this life seat better be worth it. It is not A to open a crate, it is Y. Note to self. Alright, well there's the elevator still. We're doing well, let's give that some life. Alright. Quest updated, explore the elevator shaft. Well, we are doing well then. Another energy upgrade. Oh, and now we have seven. That's awesome. We now have seven energy canisters. We're getting up there on the energy, turns of energy. Note from an engineer. Ever since the Pathfinder program decided to use the Deadeye Crane blocks as part of their training, my engineers have consistently putting them been consistently putting themselves in harm's way to set them up. One poor fellow tragically fell to his death while stringing up a Deadeye across a chasm. Ooh. Tough break. We don't even get enough to wear. We don't even get to wear a damn weed suit. Otherwise, he may have lived. What a waste. Yeah. I get that. Let's see. Is there like a crane? Thing? Oh. Oh, we're gonna like get this elevator working again. Is that the plan? Yeah. We are definitely going down. We need to be going up. There we go. Well, as soon as I'm yet to see another person here, I think we'll be fine. Alright, well, we're at the Cooling Pipes B. Quest updated. Continue journey to reach the mountaintop facility. Yeah, that was not the way to go. Yep, swing across. That's my training area. Cool. Did Pathfinders train here? Yeah, well, I mean, it... Only as it's been with the isolation policy in effect. I've often found myself in the company of a Pathfinder named Edwin Hall. Ooh, we have a romance. The things he can do in a leaf suit are astounding. Some nights we'll head to the rooftop above my office and watch the auroras. I have no idea what he could possibly see in me, though. Aww. I tend to ramble a lot. I mean, who wouldn't find Mesoamerican calendrical systems anything other than fascinating? Guys love that stuff, right? <laughs> a little romance going on in the subplot. That's nice. Edwin Hall. Fellow Pathfinder. Sweet. We took care of that emeritus form pretty effectively. Got an achievement. Fly Lordship. Pacify 10 emeritus forms. Emeritus forms. However, how do you say that? Another energy upgrade? Pathfinder squad point tally from taken from daily exercises. Land sharks got 48. They're the winners. Raptors 43. Valkyries 37. Buck riders 37. And wild roses. He's got to step it up with a 29. All right. What do we got here? Just a note. Everyone here thinks I'm a liar. No one believes I got attacked by a grizzly bear during one of my runs. Luckily, I managed to extract its life before it could swipe at my face. I got real far before turning back to return its life energy. I hope I never see the likes of him again. Okay. Well. Did 
There might be grizzlies, that's good. Sweet. Good swing. Medallion. These medallions are getting cleaned up fast. Getting into that pyramid is going to be tough. Hopefully, I find some more quick. I want to be the first to explore it. Is that where we're going? Essentially, is the pyramid. Like, I hear a lot of stuff about that pyramid. Huh. And a viper strike here. I would like to get some momentum before I do it, so well just turn around here. Oh shit. Did I save it? Nope. Alright guys. I think I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. Uh, I could not get this part figured out. And there was, it was basically a standstill. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay frosty.